judge decided four suspects who are members of an aggressive Christianity Missions Training Corps will be held on $5,000 cash only bond. I disagree with the decision he made, uh, but I respect it and uh, we will follow it. Amos, Victoria, Ruth and Timothy River are all charged with failing to report a birth. In court, the attorney for all four of the rivers asked the judge to lower their bonds. But the Cibola County Undersheriff explained to the court it would be a bad idea. He explained to the judge the day he arrested all four, saying the suspects were in two vans. Inside, deputies say there were 11 children from the compound, a large amount of money, suitcases and maps. Deputies believe they were trying to flee, but members of the religious group say they were only heading to Albuquerque to meet with their attorney. My clients have never wanted to do anything other than cooperate. Uh, they have done that at all times. The judge said in court he believes the four are a flight risk. And he says all four have lived on the compound about an hour southwest of Grants for at least 16 years. According to court documents, the religious compound has a military-like structure. There are generals all the way down to the children being privates. So I think that that was an important aspect of, of the bond hearing today. I think that that was all relevant, and I'm glad that, that, that uh, he took those facts into consideration. Three other members who were not in court today now face grand jury charges. One of the commune leaders, Deborah Green, faces 17 charges, including kidnapping, child abuse, and criminal sexual penetration. Peter Green faces 200 counts of child sex crime charges. Documents say Stacy Miller's son died of a flu and she didn't get him medical treatment. Her grand jury charges include abuse, bribery, extortion, and failure to report a death. In Cibola County, Katie Marsh, KYT, Action 7 News.